I'm baffled. Don't start buckling. Police clashed with protesters in Wauwatosa Tuesday, declaring their march an unlawful assembly. Protesters have been hitting the streets for a week since the district attorney cleared police officer Joseph Mensa in the fatal shooting of 17 year old Alvin Cole. As 12 News Hillary Mintz reports, police made one arrest caught on camera by police and protesters. For the seventh night in a row, protesters hit the streets in Wauwatosa. <laughs> There was no curfew in place, but around 8 p.m., police say the protest became illegal. You can hear them warn the crowd in this dash camera video. Police said, quote, blocking streets without permits and participating in loud, boisterous behavior is against the law. Back in the squad, officers discuss making arrests. You take more if I go do it, I don't like it. Yeah. Revving on the side. Then near 65th and Meineke, they arrest a guy on a bicycle. Stop resisting! I'm not, I'm not. I'm not resisting. No resisting. Don't block my camera. You're blocking media. You're blocking media. UWM documentary film instructor Sean Kafer also recorded the arrest. Wotosa Police Department decides to tackle him off of his bike and rough him up as much as possible. Uh, they tase him and um, handcuffed him and threw him into the back of the car. He was doing nothing. You can see that in the video. Police say the crowd began to, quote, turn on officers. They used smoke and pepper spray. Did you think it was unlawful? No, they were marching the, the whole time, so they didn't actually stop at all. Um, so this is constant marching through the streets. Um, I don't feel that's... Um, illegal. It's a First Amendment right, and that's what protesting is all supposed to be about. But this neighbor, who didn't want to be identified, says he did not see a peaceful protest. I'm sitting in my living room, and all hell breaks loose, and there's motorcycles driving up and down the sidewalks. There's people literally attacking the police. Mayor Dennis McBride would not go on camera, but told 12 News despite what happened here last night, he does not plan to bring back a curfew. And moving forward, he's trying to come up with a solution that pleases both protesters and police. In Wauwatosa, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. The mayor also says he has met with some community and protest leaders to come up with rules of engagement for peaceful protests. Police say the man arrested could face a felony for injuring an officer.